And with me now is Christy Buck, uh, is Executive Director of the Mental Health Foundation of West Michigan. Christy, so good to have you here. And I know you've been Great part be of here. creating two new programs for the classroom, Live, Laugh, Love, and as we see on your shirt, Be Nice. You got it. Be Nice is something that might be tough for kids to do. Tell us, it, tell us about this program. It is. And so what Be Nice is, is the mental health education suicide prevention program that comes with an action plan. Mm -hmm. So it's more than just to be nice and to treat everybody with respect and civility mm -hmm. like we want everybody to, yeah. but it's having a greater understanding that there's a plan. Notice, invite, challenge, and empower. It's a roadmap. Yeah, you got it. It's a roadmap yes. to why I should be nice. So yes. the N is to notice what is good, what is right. And that's every day. I do need to look at people in, the, in a positive light. What's good, what's right. So then with that tool, I can notice what is different. So if I notice what is different, I need to invite myself to reach out. I need to challenge that because it's a risk. Mm -hmm. It could be a risk. I might be getting myself in trouble. It could be that I'm going to lose my friend because I'm telling someone that I'm concerned about my friend. Right. And then ultimately that E is huge because it's empowering myself and I'm empowering myself to give that person resources and assistance. You have over three decades of, of, of working as a mental health professional. Mm -hmm. Thinking of our kids, what do you see as the drivers behind what seems to be an increase in, in depression, anxiety, yeah. teen suicide? What's going on? So even today, our presenters that were at the conference mm -hmm. really talked about it exactly, and that is, what is bringing about a change in so many pe people's behaviors is what's going on around them. And so when you get up in the morning and you happen to have the TV on for the national news and my child, my son, daughter is in the room with me, they're hearing that negativity, that thing that could place fear in their own lives. Fear breeds anxiety. And so we know that anxiety is the most common mental health disorder, but anxiety left untreated, somebody could actually develop depression. With depression, comes people that may have thoughts of taking their life. It's like a spiral. It is. What can schools do to, to uh, adapt to and deal with these changes that you've seen over the decades? Uh, okay, another great presenter was here today and that was from University of Michigan, Dr. King, and she mentioned connectivity, connectedness. And I really truly believe, and I know it, and that's why I'm so passionate about Be Nice, that we need more programs that are connecting kids. And what's better than connecting kids with respect, dignity, and treating people in a civil manner? So um, I love it. I love what we're doing. I love our program and that it can build resiliency in other students and help people to connect to each other by a simple hi, a hello, a compliment, getting them involved in a club or organization, creating more clubs and organizations within my school to allow for that connectedness to happen. You're giving kids in sitting in the classrooms, po the power yeah. to really affect in a good way the it. person sitting next to them. That's what it is. Are our schools doing enough, broadly speaking? Uh, I'm hearing a lot, and I'm yeah. seeing a lot. I'm at this conference, and it was holy cow, walking down the resource lane, right? Yeah. But we've got to be able to get to the masses also. So we have created with Be Nice as an action plan, and it can transcend to adults and to companies, to faith organizations. We were at a school and there happened to be a be nice tennis match. Imagine that, between two rival teams. And about two weeks later, I received a note from a grandmother who happened to be sitting at the tennis match. And she said, what you did for our boys that day actually saved lives. A grandma, mm -hmm. and I'm going, that's what you want to get to. So if we can't get into every school, which there should be a program surrounding mental health, education, which can lead to suicide prevention, we've got to have that expectation. Christy, thank you so very much. Great advice, thank you, great Cindy. work. Thank you so very great much. Great to be here. And you are watching our special on suicide and prevention.